Russell back with Gwinnett Lines in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. It's hot out here. It's probably uh, high 80s right now. It is June the 6th, 2021. And on today's video, we are going to be replacing a carburetor on the Echo PB8010T. Why, you might ask? I'm glad you asked that. So, as you guys have been watching the videos, you know that I have two of the PB8010Ts. This one has 248 hours, 244.8 hours, and this one has 97.9 hours. So, thanks to the EPA, the carburetors, eh, they're really not adjustable. There is a hole right here that if you can get the adjustment, uh, there's a little adjuster right there for, we'll call it the mixture, the air mixture. Um, if you can get a little D-ring and a D-shaped tool, well, you may have success, you may not. So. I'm going to show you exactly what this is doing and you should have spare everything if you're doing the lawn care business. I have a pretty much at least one of each piece of equipment, sometimes more. Uh, I need to basically just rebuild that carburetor. Is This blower has never been as strong as the, uh, the other blower that I have and it's got, it's, it's acting like it's got a cold. What I've done is I have replaced the fuel filter, made sure that the vent screen is clear, replaced the air filter, replaced the spark plug, and it still runs like crap. Now, I was able to kind of, um, I guess you could say, do a minor adjustment on the carburetor, but just can't really get in there. Uh, I don't have the actual echo tool and the the carburetor tools that I have they're just not mm, they're not exactly right so they're just not the right not the right size so anyway I'm going to show you guys how to change this carburetor first I'm going to show you what the blower is doing now, I haven't started this in several days so it's just at ambient temperature I'll get the camera set up and let you guys hear how bad it bogs even when it's warm be right back turn it on and it takes a pull or two got a terrible bog to it and if I could get the carburetor um, the screw adjusted I could probably get most of that out however the best thing for me to do because of time constraints is I'm going to put on a brand spanking new this is an actual echo carburetor for this unit here okay and then what I'll do is I'll do another video on how to act how to rebuild the carburetor so i'll always have a good spare so i'm going to get this back up on the wall right there so uh, it'll be easier to pull the carburetor off all right so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to put the choke lever down i'm going to pop this little cover off and then i'm going to take the two clamps loose for the air boot like that all right one thing that I'm going to do before we remove the bolts in the carburetor is I'm going to take a 10 millimeter and loosen the little nut right here just a little bit and then I'm going to rotate this 
like this and lift the cable. It pulls out just like that. And then I'm going to separate the cable down to two T27 bolts that hold this housing and carburetor to the blower engine a little bit. And there's two fuel lines. There's the inlet and the return. So, okay. So I'm just going to put those aside. Okay. Now there is a gasket in between here. It's reusable. There's a gasket on both sides. And um, just make sure to We'll put that aside. Here is the inside the two bolts. This third bolt, you don't do anything. So you just slide the carburetor off. So here's the here's our old carburetor. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take a paper towel and clean this up and then okay. All right, let's put it down and see how it starts. That is a success. So, what was the main problem with the? Uh, let me try to get out of the glare here. What was the main problem? I have no idea. Maybe there was uh, some junk in the carburetor. Uh, also, the fuel that's in here right now is the 93 octane True Fuel. I did switch different, tried different fuels, just to see. Um, you know if that could possibly be something that this blower is temperamental with and it's not had no difference at all um, so anyway the carburetor definitely solved the problem so the problem um, I guess is within the old carburetor so I will have another video when I get some time maybe later this year when it slows down and I'll show you guys how to rebuild that carburetor and we'll try to see what the if there was any piece of trash or garbage or something in there but as you can see i don't even need to adjust the the little uh, mixture screw on this new carburetor so it's just kind of weird that the other blower has almost 250 hours on the original carburetor but you know you get different uh issues with manufactured stuff but this blower now feels as strong as that blower so yeah Anyway, I'm still extremely pleased with these PB8010Ts. They are, at this current time, still the most powerful backpack blower that you can get, and they are absolute monsters. They're very simple. Uh, the reason I like these over the still stuff is they're pure two-stroke engines, and they are extremely powerful. They do not have valves and other nonsense you have to adjust. It just complicates things, so... I love two-stroke stuff. If I could have two-stroke lawnmowers, I would have it, but can't. So anyway, hopefully this helps you. If you've got one of these blowers and you have a problem uh, similar to this, after you've tried everything else, perhaps it's your carburetor. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope uh, it helps you. I hope, uh, I don't know how much the dealer would charge for this, but probably at least 150 200 bucks so anyway put that money back in your pocket thank you for watching and i will see you on the next video